Hi class, welcome to week number two. Um, thanks for taking the course and those of you guys that uh, have logged on already and uh, told us about ourselves and taking the netiquette and syllabus quizzes. Thank you guys for doing that. I'll be uh, dropping those that haven't logged on at all um, this evening. Um, so make sure that you do that. Um, but for week number two, I've kind of pulled up my uh, canvas here to kind of show you where we're gonna be headed this week. Um, it's really awesome. A lot of you guys have children that are looking to learn more about soccer through coaching some of you guys have some pretty good experience so it's going to be a good little semester as we go forward um so week number two module number two we're going to go to laws of the game if you go ahead and click on that if my computer works any faster than that that's very slow um go ahead and click on that it should bring you up to a different scenarios for a little bit of a quiz here and then you can look through the laws of the game uh lecture as well which would be on modules here too so it'd be on discussion and new developments. And then here's a link here with different uh, resources. So there's a lecture. There's also the laws of the game from FIFA here in a, in a kind of a more of a booklet type uh, PDF that you can download and kind of look through. Um, it has all the laws of the game outlined in there, as well as in the laws of the game lecture. Um, also in the, um, if you go into here into the discussion and new developments, there's a link right here for some videos as well. Um, that's from, a, I think, Washington Youth Soccer put together basically a different little short video for each law. So it goes through. So basically the laws of the game are the rules of soccer. So when you look at that, uh, FIFA, which is the governing body of, of soccer throughout the world, uh, which came into light the last couple of years over some fraudulent stuff and some uh, money laundering type stuff but uh they basically run the world cup run all governing body of of soccer both men's and women's so fifa uh, runs that they also run futsal and beach so or sand soccer um stuff as well so laws of the game if you go there to this little link will show you um different information about the different laws um a couple things so you have the quiz which is in that first link that i showed you but then you have a discussion and basically with technology, it's, it's kind of brought into light different opportunities to more closely monitor the game. It's similar to like NFL where they have instant replay. Um, now some of the major goal scoring opportunity type things are going into review on whether it should have been a PK or not or whether it was a goal or not. And the addition of actual ex extra referees on the end line um, and goal line technology, like did the ball completely pass the line? Uh, is going is gone into question with uh, different technology ways to be able to tell if the ball completely crossed the plane because the ball's in play until it completely crosses either the sidelines or the end line for a goal goal kick or a throw in or a corner kick on the end lines. So those are a couple of things that are new to the game in the past couple of years. Um, I would recommend if you've never really seen soccer before to go through and look at the link on offside because it can be a little bit tricky. But basically offside is you have to be either behind the soccer ball, which you can never be offside if you're in the attacking half, you're in your attacking half if you're behind the soccer ball. And there's two players between you and the goal. Um, one of those is always usually the goalkeeper. But if you're, there's two people between you and the, and the goal when the ball is passed to you and then you run into that offside position, you're onside. Um, so those are a couple ways to kind of think about it. You can't be offside if there's two people, goalkeeper and another field player, uh, when the ball is passed and or you're behind, you're behind the soccer ball because you can't be offside if you're behind the ball or if you're in your own defensive half you can't be offside so those are a couple little looks at it and those are kind of the simple ways for me to kind of look at it um, from the rule standpoint but I, I do think it's an important aspect to know what the rules are before you even get started into this little journey that we're going to be going through the semester so it's the the quiz is timed um, i believe it's 20 points pretty simple in my opinion um, there's a couple they're actually questions taken straight from the referee license uh, so a couple of them are kind of quirky but um, they're actually from the referee license uh, questions so I figured I might as well pull them off there uh, for the most part and then I added a couple of pretty simple ones in there um, so those are all there but you can add it up to five attempts so if you make a mistake and you want to retake it you can take it up to five and if you have problems even after that five um, they're the same 20 questions by the way so um, you can make sense of that. Uh, but if you have problems, just let me know. I can reopen it up for you. Um, if there's any questions about the course, a couple of highlights for this week with soccer. Um, EPL is kind of a little break this week because of the FA Cup. 
Um, so they're not playing, but a lot of transfers. There's one more week before teams can sell and buy and sell players over in Europe uh, for the next couple of weeks. So it's called the transfer window. So there's been a couple of a little basic trades kind of going on where they're selling players. Uh, with Manchester United and uh, Arsenal had a big one uh, with striker Sanchez. Um, so that one's a big little change in the, in the breakup. Um, so a couple little things going on. There's also talk of some other um, basic purchases over the transfer window of different players. Azul for Arsenal has also been rumors that he's going to have a contract extension um, coming up. So it'll be interesting to see how the, everything kind of wraps up um the united states went into their uh january camp for their national team on the men's side and the women's were also in their camp as well um the men's did not qualify the world cup upcoming up this summer uh, obviously i was pretty disappointed in that but they will not be attending the world cup as a team because they didn't qualify so there's a lot of stuff going on around uh, the united states and new soccer and it's kind of a shake up um italy also did not qualify neither did the netherlands so Kind of not alone, not alone, but it is. We do definitely uh, play in what most would call a weaker um, region to be able to qualify. So uh, the CONCACAF is a little bit weaker than the European UEFA um, roundup. So uh, that's kind of a little current, up to date uh, stuff going on. MLS is going to be starting here shortly um, in the next couple of weeks. So that should be kind of exciting. So MLS is kind of getting themselves rolling. They've started their camps and started getting players in. Um, USL starts their camps next week. Um, so there'll be uh, players going off to there. So which their Sacramento Republic plays, kind of our local professional team playing the USL. So those are a couple of updates professional soccer wise. Um, Collegiate soccer plays in the fall in the United States. So most teams are just playing spring season, which is their non-traditional season kind of during this time. So if you have any questions, you guys have my email, feel free to kind of contact me if you have any questions. Uh, hopefully you guys can get up and update those things and kind of go through. But uh, if you look on the, click on your modules and then go to modules week number two, laws of the game, complete those. That, this link right here has more information those two, that's the discussion, and that is the quiz. So you're looking at about 30 points this week. Last week, you have till about Wednesday to finish up the netiquette uh, discussion. Um, tell us about yourself, and so will this. Please log on, because I can track who's logged on and who hasn't. If you haven't logged on by tonight, all, which is Sunday night, I'll be dropping people from no-show. Um, so just to kind of clear the roster in that way, to make sure somebody just didn't sign up and then forget about taking the class. So I want to make sure everybody's kind of bought into it and that way they can get the money back if they didn't uh, do it. But I need to make sure I drop them tonight. So make sure you do that and we'll be talking shortly. Thank you guys. Have a great week and I will be in touch next week. Talk to you later.